moment and be inspired by the women and men who made Falls Church a better place to live for all people. Hi, my name is Perla Nodano. I am the mentoring coordinator here at FCCPS. And our goal is to have a mentoring program that is rigorous and to develop strong mentors, mentees with in turn have successful students. And we're so excited for this year. I can't wait for our new team to come on board and to be part of that experience and to have relationships that will last forever. My name is Austin Gogol. I'm gonna be a first year teacher here at George Mason High School. I'm really excited to meet my mentor in a little bit. And I'm also really pumped to be back at George Mason High School after graduating from here. So I work really closely with Perla to find a match for all of our new teachers. I was thinking about who would be a good fit for Austin? Then I thought about someone he might remember from his days at Mason. I think this will be a good one. knows how to use the Keurig. I think it's going to be a great year. I'm Farrell Kelly, I teach at Mary Ellen Henderson, and I'm also the president of the Falls Church City Education Association. And on behalf of the Falls Church uh, City Education Association, I'd like to welcome you all back to a new school year. Um, it seems like every year in Falls Church brings seismic changes, sometimes literally, as I've discovered in the last week while working in my classroom to the dulcet tones of steamrollers and backhoes building the new high school. Um, from year to year, we can literally see and feel the foundations of our school system being built anew. As Dr. Noonan mentioned earlier, this year is no different, with new staff and positions in every building, new leadership in central office, new paradigms of assessment at the middle and high school, with new grade organizations at Mount Daniel and Thomas Jefferson, and new leadership at Jesse Thackeray, change remains a constant in our lives here at uh, FCCPS. And with change comes the opportunity for each of us to have an impact. In years past, FCCEA has been able to help the larger school community, not just by being a gadfly at budget hearings, but by doing things like helping to build the mentorship program, um, helping to inspire FCCPS to sponsor CPR trainings for licensure renewals. Thank you, Vicki. You are amazing. And by advocating, <laughs> she is. And by advocating both generally and specifically for what's best for students and staff. As our district continues to seek new opportunities to grow, I hope each of you will consider the impact that you have on students, on each other, and on the school community at large. Your voice matters, and you each have the opportunity to help shape these changes to the benefit of all by working together to advocate for what's best for our students and for each other. Today's theme is caring and community, and maintaining that caring community requires that we look out for and speak up for each other. 
At the state level, FCCEA works with the Virginia Education Association to speak up for positive changes for students and educators as well, successfully pushing back against attempts to force districts to publicly reveal in individual teachers' SOL results, marching to convince legislators to fund Virginia's schools, and advocating for sensible policies for students as Virginia continues to move to Im implement ESSA. FCCEA will continue to speak up at school board meetings, city council meetings, with administrators and in the community at the local and state level to give a voice to all our educators from the lunchroom to the classroom. Your building reps will be reaching out to you soon, and I hope you won't hesitate to reach out to them or to me if you need anything at all. We're here for you to make us all stronger. So thank you, and I hope uh, your year gets off to a great start. I know it already has. And with that, I'd like to introduce Debbie Hiscott, president of somebody, uh, a group that helps make us strong, the Falls Church Education Foundation. Thanks a lot, y'all. Thanks, Farrell. Hi, I'm Debbie Hiscott. I'm the executive director of the Falls Church Education Foundation. On behalf of the board of directors of the foundation, we'd like to welcome you back. We're so happy to see new faces and returning ones as well. The Falls Church Education Foundation was created solely to provide additional support to FCCPS teachers and staff. We literally exist to help you, the amazing team who focuses on our children every day. In the past five years alone, the foundation has awarded over one and a quarter million dollars that's M with an, uh, a million with an M, uh, dollars to our students and staff. <laughs> FCAF is awarding our sixth round of super grants in October, and we awarded almost $40,000 in teacher training grants this past May. Uh, raise your hand if you've received a grant or gone on teacher training or been impacted by a program that the foundation supports. Pretty, pretty good. We hope to increase that number and invite you to apply. The super grant applications are due three weeks from yesterday. Uh, in addition to our super grants, uh, we have several programs that close the gap for our English language learners, our special education students, and our financially disadvantaged families, such as our after school experiences, the peer buddy mentor programs, and our family assistance fund. Please contact me with any questions you may have about these programs, or let me know if you have new ideas how to better support our students. We are here for you. We too were part of the relocations this summer. The foundation's world headquarters can also be located in central office, and I'm easy to find. Please stop by and visit. I'd also like to remind you to register for the run for the schools, or the walk. You don't have to be a runner. One mile or 5K. It's Sunday, September 15th. And it's always a great way to start off the school year. Registration forms were handed out when you walked in the door this morning. They can also be found in each school office and on our website at fcedf.org. On behalf of the Board of Directors, again, I wish you a fantastic year. And we can't wait to continue building together. Thank you. All right, so um, we would like to welcome the George Mason Saxophone Quartet, who are gonna be presenting when I'm 64, and at the same time that they're presenting, I'd like to invite up um, over here to the right, to my right, your left, um, the 15, 20, and 25 year employees, um, as we would like to make a presentation to you on stage after the quartet is done. So if you wouldn't mind, please heading to uh, that direction, that would be great, all right.
Let's uh, also thank Miss Mary Jo West. Miss West, thank you so much. All right, before we, um, before we recognize our, our employees today um, for 15, 20, and 25 years, there is one other person that I want to spend just a second saying thank you to um, who made us a special trip today to be here with us, and that is Lindy Hockenberry. Lindy, where are you? We promised Lindy we wouldn't make a big deal out of it today, but I do want to say Lindy Hockenberry Day is September 13th here in the City Falls Church. So we will make sure to celebrate you on September 13th. But thank you for your service to the city, to our schools, and for your work. All right, in your programs, you can see who served for five and 10 years. Congratulations to all of those employees, and thank you very much for your incredible service. They will be recognized at their individual staff meetings this week. And so today, we're recognizing 31 employees in the City of Falls Church who have served 15, 20, 25, or 30 years. And first, I want to sneak in a, a one piece of recognition um, that's a little bit uh, off, off to the side. 26-year employee um, who is going to be retiring in November. Um, and since this is the only time we'll be together, I want to congratulate David Morales, uh, TJ's head custodian. David, I, I know you're counting the days, but you're going to miss us. I just know it. <laughs> I was walking, uh, just a quick story, I was walking through the halls at TJ over the summer because our, our Betsy um, had the summer camp at TJ this summer again and, and had a chance to talk with David a number of times. But one of the things that um, we talked about was uh, a theme that you've heard throughout this morning and even yesterday in your buildings, and that's about a caring community and culture. And uh, David said to me, let me, let me just talk to you about our caring community and culture here in the city of Falls Church and what it means to me. And he said, I, was, uh, I was sit went into George Mason High School one day and there was a teacher that teaches at George Mason High School that, David, uh, that recognized David from his time here in the city of Falls Church and said that at one point during his uh, career here in the city of Falls Church, David made a comment to him that really carried him forward and made him feel like a valued student in our system and really made a difference for that one kid. And that one kid then went on to become a teacher here in the city of Falls Church. So you never know what, the, what that moment of care that you give to one of our students is gonna mean for us into the future and for that student. So David, thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts for your incredible service here. All right, the first